We watched AEW Rampage, July 8th, 2022. It opened with an awesome wrestling match. Eddie Kingston versus Kanosuke Takeshita. Oh my God, what a thing of beauty this was. So, a couple things. Um, we got a question, like, maybe it's been on last week's Q&A, but trying to explain the difference between King's Road and Strong Style. This was a King's Road match if ever mm -hmm. I've seen one. It opened not slowly. It was very, very intense. But the moves were a very basic level. They were jabs in the world of pro wrestling, or in this case, chops and elbows mostly. But uh, it, it was simple stuff. And then they progressed from there to a couple of suplexes. And then near the end, it's moves that could actually end the match. It's big ass lariats and power bombs and brain busters and more suplexes. God and... damn this brain buster that he gave Eddie Kingston. Ah. This was the sweetest looking brain buster you ever saw. He just straight up and down. And kaboom, right down on his head. But it wasn't actually on his head because right. Takeshi is a great worker. Yes. But, man, this was the sweetest. And then he almost, I don't even know why he didn't do it because it would have been maybe a first on uh, North American television. But uh, he did a German suplex on the apron, didn't let go, and was going to do another one on the floor. He was almost going to do rolling German suplexes from the apron to the floor. But Eddie then cut him off and gave him an exploder on the floor. His body's just bouncing all over the place. And I know people people get on JR. I know some people don't like JR. But man, JR's got some calls like nobody else does these calls. <laughs> like when this dude gets suplexed and he notes, that's a human body smashing onto the floor outside. It no one ever it. words it like that. No. Or but or you hear the, that the and you think, toss. that is a human body. That's a human body that just got slammed on the cement outside. Fuck. That's what you think. Fuck. The great right, thing do. that this, this match, this Takeshita guy, I've seen him have like four matches, but then he's in there with the great big guy, Eddie Kingston, and you see just how deceptively huge this guy is. And he matched it up very well with him. Almost the same height. He's a big dude. And man, they went to war. And the other thing about this Takeshita guy is... He has, when I say the words fountain of charisma, like, he is so ridiculously charismatic. Everything he does is showing personality or emotion or humanity. And charisma is not like a trademark pose or a catchphrase or a finish to tease. It's just being human, right? <laughs> and he's just, he's real and authentic and believable all the time. And all the stuff matters to well, him. I think it's being more extraordinarily human. Yeah. There's uh, a lot of humans that don't have a lot of charisma. Expressing your humanity, expressing your your, your reactions. When expressing he had, your personality. Your personality, yes. But, uh, yeah, you're not just, as, while he is a highly trained athlete doing moves, he's not just a highly trained athlete doing moves. He has a soul. He has a heart. And this, and this stuff affects him. When he got the near fall in the, late in the match, I think, it was the, I think it was the brain buster. Uh, but he got a near fall, and, and Eddie kicks out. And Takeshita did not do the trademark over the top shocked kickout face hate that but man he did a disappointed kickout face like god damn it i thought he had him on that one <laughs> now i have to hit him more so they start no selling strikes and they start no selling suplexes and this finish was a, an absolute work of art eddie hits the back fist but takesha no sells that Takeshita hits a knee strike. Eddie no sells that. Eddie hits another back fist. And at that exact moment, they both go to E on the gas tank. Takeshita collapses. Eddie collapses on top of him and gets the pin. And Jim Ross is sure to note, if he had just fallen the other way, this would have been a double count out. Uh, a, a thing of beauty, if you have not watched this match, stop listening to this silly little podcast and go watch this immediately. You're the worst host. What did I do? Watch it after this podcast. That too. Hey, please, well, those are please don't stop the podcast. Now. I didn't say to cancel your subscription. Well, no, but I mean, Said, we have so much more to say. This is how the show begins, really. Oscar does a back kick, camera cut. She does a back fist, camera cut. She starts to run, camera cut. She hits a hip attack, camera cut. She drops to her knees, camera cut. She throws a kick, camera cut. She stands up and screams, camera cut to people brawling on the floor. I was furious. Do you understand? I wanted to shut the show off and not watch anymore. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, 
the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.